Hi guys, welcome back. This is Nick. So in my first video, I showed you the step two Whisperite cruiser. Uh, we went through all the parts and now we're gonna assemble this car and I hope after the assembly my son gonna like it so let's go with the step one so if you see the user manual the step one is with the steel rods okay so there are two counts of it and as I showed you in my first video so we got this black screws like this so the step one is we gonna attach these black screws to the steel rod and there is a trick to do that because it's pretty hard okay and that's the reason they gave this part okay as i showed in the first video which was tricky to find me so that's that's the part j okay so the trick here is take the first rod and i did this already actually so but still i'm gonna show you so take the first rod take any of this black bolt and then put onto this like this okay and then what we need to do is we need to attach this rod to this bolt okay so like this and then take the hammer you should have the hammer that's your one of the prerequisite so take the hammer and then hit it like this okay so it should go like this and it's pretty hard okay now it's not coming out okay and I'm putting a lot of pressure okay it's not coming out so so that was the trick okay so this is used to hit it hard so that you don't you don't you don't, you don't break your wooden floor okay so make sure you have this okay now so let's go back to step one so as I showed you so we did this part we attach the black bolt that's that's this step here now in the step two we're gonna take one of the wheel okay and then so these are pretty cool wheels yeah okay and so as you see here right now what we need to do is we need to add this thing like this okay you see so we add this and then we're gonna add two rings here if you see the ring is number n okay so we need to add two rings here like this so if you see closer look so i added these two rings here okay so that was your step two we got the two rings added in there now as part of the step three we need to get our car here okay so i'm gonna bring back my okay so if you see here as part of the step three we need to insert this rod here okay so take a closer look so i'm inserting like this okay and that's gone here all right so that was your step three now for step four what we're gonna do we're gonna turn it like this and if you see as part of step four so again so our little thing the number part j is coming in handy we need to put it down like this under the bolt and now we're gonna fix the the front wheel on the other side okay so again we're gonna repeat the same thing we got two rings okay which are part number ends we're gonna dump it like this here okay and then i'm gonna take another wheel and push it like this okay there you go all right and then my black bolt is coming again and now we need to hit this guy with a hammer again okay and we already put the part number J at the bottom, okay? Uh, I'll show you later, okay? But yeah, that's down. Make sure you have down, otherwise you're gonna break your wooden floor. Because this, this, this is pretty hard, actually. Okay? So 
Yeah. You won't be able to get in the first attempt. It's pretty hard actually. Yeah. That's pretty solid. So I got it inside. Two wheels got in there. We're gonna make sure they're pretty hard. So I'm gonna just push it from the other end also. Like this. Yep. So, so if you see here now, a closer look. So they're pretty solid, got inside. Okay, so that was our step one to step six. Okay, now if you come here and then look closer, so it's saying now repeat step one to six for the front axle also. Okay, which I already did. Now I'm gonna repeat it for the, the back one. So let's go back and then take our second rod. Hey guys, so I've already attached the back wheels. You just need to repeat the step one to six. It's exact same. So I'm gonna fast forward to step number seven. So for step number seven, we need to get our part H and then, so this is the part B. So we need to attach it from the front, okay? This is the front side of the car, okay? And then you need to take this part H, put it inside, okay? And then you need to get your steering, okay? Push it all the way inside. So if you see here, so there is a gap, so you're gonna insert it like this, but you need to push it hard so that it goes all the way inside, okay? And then you should hear the snapping sound, okay? So let me first get it inside, yeah. So now you see, so it's all the way out, okay? So I can turn it like this. And now if I snap this guy, H, there you go, magic, okay? and then it should come out. So that way now your steering is moving and it's not coming out. I've seen a lot of people doing this mistake and then their steering comes out, okay? So that's why it's a critical step. Make sure it snaps, both parts should attach together, okay? So let's move on. So we completed step number seven, eight, nine, and nine A because we did all right, okay? So our next steps, Okay, so I think we all did this uh, because our, our, our steering is all good, okay? Now the next step is just pushing inside, I think our cup holders, okay? So we're gonna install the cup holder. So this one I found a little tricky. Uh, you may find it easy, but let's, let's see how it goes. So there is a small gap here and then there are like two plastic kind of screws here, okay? and that goes to the front of your car. So there's a small gaps here, okay? Where these screws will go. So let's first get those screws into the holes and then snap it down like this, okay? You should hear it, all right? The snapping sound, like that, okay? And then this plastic is pretty hard, okay? So you might need two persons help here, okay? So you need to press it hard down, all right? And then there are two screws on each side. There are no holes, okay? So if you see here at the bottom, there are no holes. So you need to use the small screws, okay, here. And it goes like this here, okay? As I said, there are no holes. So you need to punch a hole with the screws here, okay? And as I said, you need two be people help. So I'm gonna skip this step for the time being and I'm gonna move forward, okay? But if you wanna put a screws, you can go ahead and then put the screws on the two ends. Make sure you press it hard and your cup holder is solid, okay? So, uh, and then let's move to the next step, okay? Next step is pretty important because it's related to your straps, okay? Which is gonna hold your baby tight, okay? So, Make sure this is part number L, which are your straps. These are the two holes, okay? This is the back side, this is the front side. We're gonna use the, the long screws here, okay? Which will go like this, okay? And then 
you can choose any side so at the back of the seat there are like two i think they're pretty solid ones okay so we're gonna insert here and then we're gonna screw these two things here let me come from this side okay so yeah it's pretty easy but yeah those are like long screws so keep tightening it up man you need a drill for this these are big pretty big big ones Okay, you can keep doing it, so I'm gonna move forward. So let's take the another strap. As I said, the same thing. Take the big screw, put it into the strap, get it here. And you can tighten it up. Okay. That's a horn. Okay, so I'll do it later. But yeah, as you said, right? We got the two straps here, which are gonna hold your baby tight, okay? As I mentioned, this is a very simple strap. It's not a five-point harness. So yeah, make sure your babies are safe, okay? So we'll move to the next step. So where are we gonna add the, the back handle to it? So we finished the step number 12. We finished step number 13, 14, 15. Now we are on step number 16. We're gonna we take the part number Q and we're gonna insert it to the back. Okay. So that's my part Q. It's gonna go like this here. Yeah, it's a big rod. Make sure you align. Yeah, it's a screw so i thought it will come out if i press it but yeah it's not like that so it's like a screw so keep twisting it and it's pretty hard plastic so yeah it takes a lot of energy okay so if you see it's coming out from the other end okay all right so i think yeah i got it all the way out and then you need to take this big ring, which was part number P. Okay. And I'm gonna push it like this. And then there was a small bolt, okay? Which will go like this here. Oops. All right. So if you got any spanner or something, just use that one. I got this one. That's pretty solid and so that was our step number 17 and 18 where we put the part Q at the back of this now comes the the big handle part the push part okay that's your step number 19 so so I already removed this this thing from here as I said that which was a tricky to find so I already removed this rod and then I'm gonna get a handle okay hold on Yeah. So this is your backside. So where you have got a, a red knob, that's your uh, backside. Make sure uh, you put it up like this, and then it's gonna go like this. Okay. So we got the rod in here. There are two small openings here. Okay. And we have to push it like this. Okay. So first you need to align it and get your rod from the back of it okay it should slide all the way back from the other end 
Yeah, it's tricky. Yeah. All right. So if you see here, it came all the way from the other end. Okay. And we got this small bolt, which we're going to put it from the other side. It's pretty tight, okay? So that was your step number 21, okay? So you just need to screw it, I mean, tighten it up if you wanna handle it properly, okay? And in the step number 20, yeah, I think we did that. Uh, yeah, I think what they said, like make sure you always keep this red knob always on in here, don't remove it. I think the one reason for it is like you can use this red knob to to just just hold it like this and then you can remove it and I think it can go all the way down I think yeah like this yeah so it's pretty convenient actually so you can put this car into your trunk and this this remains tight okay and then whenever you want to use it as a push car you can remove this and there you go you got a pretty solid card so yeah if you see here so this can also go inside this yeah if you wanna i think fix it so yeah probably you need to tighten this screw up so that you can attach this red knob to the back screw okay like this you can attach it okay so that way the handle won't move so i think that's pretty much uh i think we got our cards all assembled it looks like this and i'm already liking it so yeah so I'm gonna get my son in here to play with this thing and I'm sure he's gonna love it. So I wish I had a car like this. So we're gonna take him tomorrow morning in the park in this and let's see how he likes it and we'll show you the video. So thank you so much guys for watching it and please like the video, put your comments and thank you so much. Bye bye.